Hi guys, welcome to another crappy unboxing video. Today, I have this here, which is something very exciting. It is Star Ocean Blue Sphere. Up until recently, this game was never released in English, and even ROMs, there no such thing existed. I remember many, many years back, a translation was being worked on, but the person who was making it, I think, got sick, and translation just stopped. And then I think when he went back to it, it was all deleted. I have no clue. It was, I read that on a forum years back. I might have butchered that story, but who knows? But today, what we have is Fishy Face Games they hired someone to make the translation for them because up until now, only French, Japanese, and Spanish existed. The French and Spanish were fan translations, but this is a translation that Fishy Face Games hired to have happened. And I just found out about it. I ordered it on Wednesday and here it is Friday. That was the fastest shipping I have ever had in my whole life. And I believe I got the last one because I refreshed the page after I bought it and it said sold out. So who knows? But let's open the box. So here we have the, the box, which realistically, this is very big. Like, this is a big box for a Game Boy game. So, we'll see what exactly is going on here. Let's see, I don't know how to open this. There we go. Don't worry, I'll make this look cooler in post. As I assumed, it was just all precautionary so that way the box wouldn't get damaged. I mean, shipping was very expensive. Shipping was $10. And I believe this was, I don't remember how much I paid for this. This was either 45 or 55 But just look at that. In box. Game Boy Color. It doesn't say Nintendo, uh, but it says Fishy Face. This company is very hard to get games from. So pretty much what they do is they have translations of games that never really came out. And if they did come out, they have something special with them. I remember years back, I wanted to get... Chrono Trigger, like, there was a fan-made sequel, and they had that. But for a while, they stopped selling games, and I think it's because they only sell so many. It's basically like Limited Run, but for retro games. So look at that. Star Ocean Blue Sphere. I know my camera is crappy. I'm working on it. It looks a lot better in person. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but there's some schmutz on the top of the box there. I don't really know what that's from. It's not that big of a deal to me, but. So I'm glad that they this came out because the Game Boy Color doesn't really have that strong of a library. Pokemon is on it, yes. But think about what other games are good on the Game Boy Color other than Pokemon. So it comes with a stand. Uh, I don't 
know if I will ever use this to be honest um, it has the box so I most likely will use the box use the game play the game and then when it's done put it back in the box um, I don't really display my cartridges but this is a beefy manual she thick so has fishy face games right on the front they're a United States company and Oh, so it talks about the origin of how this game came to be. Uh, this information is also on their website. But they have the plot. Uh, this is a direct sequel to uh, the second game. What's the second second game called? The first one is First Departure. Is the second one Second Evolution? You know, I don't remember. It's been a while. Yep, Second Story. There we go. It says it right here. But big manual. And it has good characters. There's a lot of elfs in this game. Uh, these two were the main characters of the second story uh, that originally came out for PlayStation 1. So they have the races, which this is a very in-depth book. Oh, so I guess they're not elves. Uh, they're Nedians. It's the main, I haven't played a lot of Star Oceans. I've played the first departure, Till the End of Time, and the second story. So I'm not really that you know in the know of all the games but one thing that i love is just look at the graphics i i don't know i just really like that i think my biggest problem with the manufacturing of this game is that they use the reproduction cartridges and I understand why but I don't like it so for what you're getting I kind of wish the label was better but I understand but what I mean by reproduction cartridges is it just says game and I understand that it doesn't say Nintendo or anything like that, so I understand, but whatever. Since we have this out, let's take a look at the PCB. I'm really happy they used the tri-wing screws instead of the game bit screws because I don't have a game bit screwdriver right now. I'm also very curious to know if they're using the cheap Chinese PCBs, which because they're using the cartridges, I'm gonna take a guess. I mean, you know, so long as it saves, that's fine. So yeah, this is pretty much what the cartridges look like, or the PCBs for these types of games. So it has the battery, so the save should be fine. Um, I know Fishy Face is reputable that this is, this will be okay, but if I recall correctly, they don't have much to do with the technical aspects of the game. They just work on all of this. 
they make the presentation of the game I, sh I guess I should say they make the box and they do all that all the technical stuff is they hire someone for that so here is my Game Boy Color uh, Tetris and let's pop this in so I, it's going to be out of focus but just bear with me here Ooh, the freckle shack does not pop up well on this camera I really like the graphics of this game it's look at that just full put full pictures cut scene this reminds me of warrior land 3 just the plane crashing So yeah, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I tried to do my best of getting everything shown. Um, and my camera is very crappy and I'm working on that. But yeah, hopefully you like that. And I'm pretty very excited to play this game. I was even considering buying the French copy and making my way through that. I'm glad this came out because the French copy only like one thing seller on aliexpress sells it and it was like 30 dollars for just the cartridge no guarantee of anything so i'm very glad fishy face games put this out and i'm very excited to play it so let me know if you've been waiting for this game just as long as i have because this i've i've been waiting for this for a while the Game Boy Color is my favorite handheld because it was my first system ever. And I really like RPGs, but there's not that many on there. There's a few that I have, but this is very exciting. And until next time, see you later.